everyone, I'm Rudy Tamarchio from Invincible Boats, and today we're taking a first look at our brand new flagship monohull, the Invincible 43 Open Fisherman. Something to take note, we build both monohulls and catamarans. So the 43 Open is our flagship monohull. It's our first one, so there's gonna be a lot of options on this boat that you've never seen before from Invincible. We're gonna show you them all today. Let's talk seating and upholstery first. A serious fishing boat needs to have space, one for everybody on board, including your crew and passengers, and also place for storage. We did both of those things in one with this coffin box lounger. Chaise lounge on top, when you open up the compartment, there's three storage compartments inside. If you'd like to store fish, it's also your largest fish box on the boat. Also standard is full combing bolsters around the boat for 360 degrees of fishability in comfort. And when you head your way back over to the cockpit area, there's two pull-out jump seats that you can stow away while you're running, and also six captain's chairs in the helm area. Speaking of those chair backs in the helm area, there are two options to choose from. The first one is from LeBrock, and then the second that you see here are the Release Marine helm chairs. These have real teak seat backs and armrests. And for a really nice touch, you can add a faux teak tow rail in the bow. A new option available on the front row seats are these shocks, shock absorbing pedestals for an even smoother ride in rough water. The captain has a comfortable position here at the helm station, both standing up and sitting down, depending on how you want to have your flip up bolster. There's also a cushioned gator step helm pad underneath your feet for a nice cushioned ride. And speaking of clean helm stations, we cleared space in the helm area for two 24 inch Garmin screens by moving the Fusion Audio head unit, Sea Keeper control, and also a nine inch Mercury vessel view into the new hard top overhead. We also fit a 12 inch Garmin screen facing the cockpit for the anglers to look at the sonar. We've redesigned it that way because we listened to customer feedback where they wanted larger displays and simpler dashboards. A final touch at the helm station are these two air conditioning ducts. Been really good on keeping us cold on a nice hot day. It can be surprising just how well the air conditioning works in an open air environment, but if you really want to get out of the elements, step inside where it's fully climate controlled in the console. We redesigned that console so when you step below deck, there's two large windows on each side to bring in plenty of natural sunlight. There's also a V-berth, sink, and a head. Those were all the comfort features in the 43, but when you're on an Invincible, you're here to fish. So let's start talking about some of the fishing features with the tackle storage. You'll find most of it right here in this flat back tackle center behind the second row of seats. All the shelves and drawers hold spaces for your tackle boxes, and also there's a couple of spools for your lines and leader. On each side of the tackle center, there are also two pull-out drawers that hold even more tackle boxes. The cooler in the center, it's motorized and goes in and out with the push of a button. The 43 is the first boat to feature aquarium style live wells. In this case, these are twin 50 gallon live wells that are fed by a four pump Best Marine sea chest in the bilge. The reason why we designed twin live wells in the transom now in our monoholes is because you're seeing a lot of options for gyroscopes such as a sea keeper. In this case, this boat has a sea keeper three where normally the second in floor live well would be. So that way, instead of having to just go with one live well, you're always gonna have two standard on an Invincible. When you're serious about fishing, you need to have a lot of rod holders on board. And in this case, there are 60 rod holders on the 43 Open Fisherman. There's actually six rod holders inside the console for your shorter rods and for your electric reels. So whether you're going out for swordfish or if you're gonna go out kite fishing for sails, that's where they go while you're riding under power. We're known for having 360 degrees of fishability, and that means you can gaff a fish from anywhere on board and bring him into the boat, but if you catch a fish that's much too big to go over the gunnels, that's what the tuna door is for. We took a note of the 46 catamaran and redesigning the tuna door. The door swings inward and is held in place by a magnet. But if you want to go swimming, do some scuba diving, or even some spear fishing, you can open up the hatch and a swim ladder drops down. When you bring those fish in on board, they need to have a nice cold home. In this case, there's five fish boxes in the floor, but don't forget that coffin box lounger in the bow, if you take out all of the compartments, that becomes the largest fish box on board this boat. A good day of fishing means you're gonna get pretty messy on the deck. So there's four sets of washdowns on the boat. You could find two of them in midship and another two in the bow. Salt water's on the starboard side, fresh water's on the port. Our customers are known for making really long runs and sometimes that means leaving before sunrise. In that case, some great options to have for making those runs at night are a rigid light bar and a FLIR night vision infrared system. At Invincible, we're a semi-custom builder, so there's plenty of options that you can add that may not have been on this boat, including a second station in the T-top. So when you're serious, give us a call and we'll build it just for you.